Good day, YouTube. It's 3rd of October, 2019. We're in the step van. I'm kind of getting ready for... In case I want to use this uh, vehicle for a gig I got coming up on Thursday this week. This is Sunday. And uh, I was just test running my PV118 subwoofers. Vintage. My vintage mixer. And I'm running them through... Um, a uh, crossover. This is also a PV. It's probably pretty vintage. I don't know what year it is. Um, that's it. And I got a non-working subwoofer. I have not um, used these um, in a gig somewhere, but I tested them before I purchased them, and I used them when I got them back when I was actually testing out that crossover. But when I went to hook them up today and run them, one of them works, one of them doesn't. <clears throat> I haven't ever removed a grill off of those type of PV speakers before. And uh, I couldn't get anything in behind there to get that grill off of there. So I made me a tool. I just thought I'm, this video is just about the tool that I made. <clears throat> and this is just a piece of aluminum angle. Some sort of brace off of something that I got. I flattened it with a hammer. And then I put a little crook in it. So that you can... These things have Velcro, but they also snap in. So you've got to get behind them significantly. These are decent grills, by the way. Get a hold of something back there. Way back there. How am I going to hold this and do this at the same time? Try my knee. There we go. And that's how this works. You got to get way in behind, right? Let's go to the other side. Angle up, because these are kind of angled down. Sorry, it's going to be tight too. There we go. back over here. I seem to have a little bit more room over here. Alright. Sorry, this is a two-handed affair. I don't have a camera person. So anyway, that's it. We got the grill mostly off. We're going to have to get that speaker out of there and see what's up. So, same deal down below. I might be able to get something in behind there and rock it. But anyway, that's my little tool that I made little tiny little catcher on there that was enough to catch it and get these off of there without ruining anything because you could bend the snot out of that if you're not careful so anyway i hope that helps you get the grills off your pv speakers or other brand of speaker that's built similarly these are probably from the 70s i'm thinking maybe early 80s or something um and you know modern day they don't build them too good these are have a wood and aluminum and you know they got a decent grill on them so all right my pb 118s one of them ain't working i gotta pull it figured out all right gang thanks for watching hit the thumbs up button if i helped you at all and we'll catch you on the next one